You want to develop an iron mind. You want to know how the world's richest people are able to withstand so much stress while they conquer the world. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you four audiobooks that are going to help you develop an iron mind and that I personally have listened to to help develop a strong mindset. So with the rise of this digital era that we are in with streaming platforms and just many distractions in our life, we don't make time to sit down and to read books, you know, at least most of us in our generation. And I want you guys to be able to appreciate the knowledge that we have been bestowed upon in our lifetime through these books. I am a really efficient person I like to do things efficiently if I can let's say read a book slash listen to the book while I'm on a walk I'd rather be able to you know get some cardio some exercise and be able to take this information as well the first audiobook I want to mention to you guys today is the 80 20 principle now this book is by Richard Koch and obviously you can get the physical copy as well but if you're like me you're going to want to you know listen to the audio version which you can get on pretty much any streaming platform uh, audio platform my preferred choice is audible i'm not sponsored i just it's just what i use this book is by richard kosh and it was honestly one of the very first audio books that i've listened to that got me into this headspace to be able to open my mind to critical thinking in a more in a more enhanced way right especially as a young teenager we are kind of closed-minded and are very ignorant and ego driven you know we think we know everything we want to be right all the time the 80 20 principle is a very good book to help you know critical think in your daily life and to help be as productive and efficient as possible and help you appreciate time and understand what you can do to get more out of your time let me just quickly explain the 80 20 principle for those who might not know essentially the gist is that you want to be able to do 20 percent of the work that can generate you 80 percent of the results let me give you an example if i'm going to take a test for school or i'm studying for college and i have a test due in one month i could stay up every night or all weekends and not go you know have fun and enjoy my college lifestyle or go out with friends and skip out on you know social activities because I need to study for an exam and so I decide to study the entire book or most of the book right that's the 80% you have some people that you know you go to school you wake up you know you study super hard for you know your exam and you still manage to not get a great score that is kind of where the 80 20 principle comes from where you have some kids who barely study at all but are able to retain the critical information and be able to generate better results than the people who do the 80-20 version. So you kind of want to think 20-80. Now it's called 80-20, but you got to think of it as like, what 20% can I do to be able to get 80% of the results? And so I started developing this habit, this mindset, this way of thinking that allows you to be more efficient. And this is how, you know, the world's richest people are able to attack their businesses, to be able to provide amazing experiences, to be able to, you know, make the money they're able to make. That is, you know, basically the gist of the 80-20 principle. Now, I highly recommend you guys go listen to it. I can leave a link down below, but you can find it anywhere, any, you know, store, etc. It really gives you a better understanding and it gives you multiple examples. And I just a 10 out of 10 book for me. And I don't know what I would do if I haven't read that or listened to that when I was 16 or 15. I forgot. So, yeah, that is audiobook number one. So moving on to book number two, and this is Atomic Habits. Now, Atomic Habits has to be in my top four. And honestly, without these four books that I'm going to tell you guys, I don't know what I would be doing because if these audiobooks really help change the directory of my life, I don't know if I would be in the same position or have the same mindset that I would have today. So Atomic Habits by James Clear is essentially a framework. It's a way of thinking, a design, a mindset design to be able to construct and build new habits. Uh, that is basically just the overview. And of course, I'm going to recommend to listen to read because it, it, it covers and gives so many different examples 
and honestly just walks you through the thought process of developing atomic habits because we all want to do things right away. We all want to be able to accomplish things in the now instead of accomplishing them in, you know, little bits by bits. That way we reap the rewards of said habit, said action over a longer period of time versus in just, you know, one week or uh, understanding that can't get things right away. It's honestly a good book about instant gratification because now we deal with the, you know, pandemic of instant gratification with TikTok, Instagram, you know, uh, Snapchat, etc. All these different apps that are giving us instant gratification and just the world around us is so fast and we get hits of dopamine everywhere we go. And so Atomic Habits really gives you the framework to build almost basically discipline and honestly live a better lifestyle. And so this is why I will recommend it. And it really helped me understand and learn that we need to be able to understand that we can only do 1% every day. And that is one of the rules that he talks about is get 1% done every day, not 20 in one day, not 30, not 15 or five, get 1% progress every day on said goal. Write down your goals to fast track to your success get 1% done every day for X amount of time and you will see how far you have gotten and you would be honestly amazed, surprised. We, we don't think that we can accomplish so much because, oh, in six months is too long. But people don't realize that they could have their dream body in six months. They don't get 1% progress done every day for six months. They try and do 50% in one week or they try and get uh, 100% done in one month. They think if they go every day just for one month that they'll have their dream body. No, it's going to take a longer framework, a longer time frame. That is Atomic Habits. 100% recommend 10 out of 10 for me. The third book I have to recommend is The Power of Now. Now, I haven't really seen or heard too many other people talk about The Power of Now. It is a book by Eckhart Tolle. He's honestly pretty popular in the mindset space, in the spiritual space, I think. And I haven't dug too deep into that whole realm, but this book by Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, understanding that we actually only have this given moment. The time of recording, I only have this given moment. I don't have tomorrow. I don't technically have six hours from now. And the past is the past and that the past is gone. You know, I can't change what I did six hours ago as well. It's truly understanding this framework and appreciating the given moment. Honestly, there's a, a saying like the present is the present because it's a gift from, you know, the future, right? Something like that. I don't know how it goes, but essentially, it just is this framework on understanding and appreciating what we have now and to be able to act upon said things that we want, right? Because we all say we want stuff. We want this, we want that, or I'll do it later. Or, you know, maybe I'll go see my family next week when you kind of can go see them now, or you'll text this person or you'll call when it only takes a second, right? And it's honestly, it's a little bit more deeper than that, but it's just understanding time and the true beauty and gift of the moment because we're so ungrateful sometimes for what is in front of us, for what we have in the moment. Uh, you know, obviously I can go back again with the distractions of social media. When we travel, you know, I kind of, I went to Malta a week ago, two weeks ago. I was saying there in the middle on the island, on one of the islands that we were at, you know, so many of us are distracted and wanting to share our experiences with everyone else, you know, through social media, etc., that we forget to appreciate the moment that we are given now. And so this is very important. And this book, this audiobook, has helped me develop that way of thinking and not to get caught up in this external gratification and this appreciation from other people that isn't going to benefit me in any way where the the best feeling comes from within and appreciation and gratefulness for yourself so this book obviously a 10 out of 10 recommend for me so definitely go check it out and uh, I hope that helps. So moving on to the fourth and final book in my top four. Now there is another one that I, I kind of want to mention as a bonus. So there will be kind of five, but I won't go over it too much. But the fourth one is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And the reason why I love this book is it kind of demonstrates and explains the mindset and the framework of not true of not truly giving a fuck and not caring what other people think and trying to do what you want to do. Now, obviously, kind of teeter tots both ends of like not being an asshole, you know, not truly giving being a true dickhead, but, you know, compromising yourself 
your progress and your life for other people's benefits you know huge thing people nowadays uh, need to understand is that you need to take control of your own life and that you need not to compromise your life or your actions or your days for other people you know obviously you want to be nice you want to help other people out obviously out of you know your own good grace but you don't want to be taken advantage of you know and that is kind of what the book explains and gives the mindset and explanations and frameworks on you know not giving a fuck and honestly my girlfriend you know kind of like says this to me is like you used to not care too much you you don't care about anything i think this book kind of put me down the the very deep end and like the i don't give a shit fuck that like whatever but Obviously, you want to have a balance just with anything, just understanding and realizing that you don't want to be taking advantage of. Obviously, no one does. You also need to develop this hard, strong mindset when you want to, you know, get things done, when you want to be productive, when you want to accomplish your goals. You need to not care what other people are thinking. You know, if you want something, you need to chase after it without giving a fuck i like this book very much it is by mark manson go check it out before i end off the video here i wanted to relay a bonus audiobook that i enjoyed slash i listened to and it is how to own your own mind by napoleon hill i think that was the correct title but the, the reason why i like this book is that a lot of us struggle from you know our our thoughts our mind and and everything that just comes in and out all this you know information in these thoughts that sometimes are hard to control you know thankfully I, I developed meditation and you know obviously habits at a young age and so this was able to help me you know kind of control those thoughts but having you know this information and these frameworks and these mindset designs allow you to really understand and truly kind of control your thought processes the the way you think and to control the thoughts that kind of come into your head now sometimes you can't control the spare the moment random you know maybe edgy thoughts that come into your head but you can kind of control the framework in which you think so when you see something positive or negative the way that your brain will start to react because of subconscious habits and self-talk and you know design you can kind of predict and control what you think of and so th this book kind of helps with that but obviously I, I it's been a while since i've listened to it. i need to kind of go over it but i do remember it was one of my favorites and it really did help with the construction of how to control the mind and so and that being said if you guys did enjoy the video please hit that like button subscribe and i truly appreciate it and uh yeah stay tuned for more videos and i'll see you guys on the next one peace